Thank you for joining us again. All the parts are placed in the schematic and we are ready for wiring. Select Place and Wire, the wire button on the toolbar, or use the W key on the keyboard to begin wiring. Click each connection to add a wire. To repeatedly place a wire, hit F4 on the keyboard. There are a few connections where I'm going to add a net alias later or connect to a bus. I'm going to add a short wire to these pins. When finished, right click and select end mode or use escape on the keyboard. You can easily move sections of your schematic by highlighting and dragging the selection a wire, or a component. Next I'm going to place my buses. Go to Place and Bus or select the Bus button from the toolbar. Click to place a bus. Use Escape on the keyboard to end the bus. There are multiple ways to connect. I'm going to place a bus entry. Choose Place Bus Entry. Click to place the bus entry to connect the wires to the bus. If you need to rotate the bus entry, just use the R key on the keyboard. For these next connections, I'm going to choose the Auto Connect. Choose Place, Auto Wire, Connect to Bus. Select the pins you want to connect and then select the bus. Type the name of the bus. If your nets have different names, just type the first net and we will name the other nets at a later time. I'm going to add the next bus. To add a bus at an angle, hold down the Shift key. Click and drag to move a bus. Select Auto Wire Connect to Bus. If your bus has sequential nets, add the net name, a bracket, and the set of numbers. Click OK. This will add the net names to all the selected nets. I'm going to finish wiring up my buses. Next, I'm going to place my no connects. Choose no connect from the toolbar or go to place and no connect. Click on the pins that are not connected in your schematic. I'm going to add one last connection to a bus. Our schematic is now wired. Join us in the next video where we will add net aliases.